All right, guys, just wanted to do a uh, quick little video on uh, finding instantaneous voltage uh, with AC or alternating current. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to test out this uh, new whiteboard app, which is pretty cool. AC voltage, we all know it as a sinusoidal waveform that swings from a positive <clears throat> maximum to a negative maximum. And through the center, let's try it again, through the center, it's going to cross a zero volt point. All right. So <clears throat> what V instantaneous is, is the ability to determine where, or sorry, at what amplitude the voltage is going to be at any given angle. All right. And an angle is actually just representing a particular point in time somewhere along this waveform uh, with the very maximum being at 90 degrees. There's two things that you need to know. First off, the angle at which the instantaneous voltage is to be measured and also your maximum uh, amplitude, which is the voltage that's going to be at the 90 degree point. Okay, so we need to know those two things. So again, you need to know VP, and you need to know theta, which is going to be the angle at which you need to measure. So say <coughs> voltage peak is 5 volts. All right, so that means that at the top of the waveform, at the 90 degree point, you are at 5 volts. All right, and then, of course, your center line is always going to be your your zero. So say you want to figure out uh, what the voltage is going to be at 30 degrees. All right. Well, 30 degrees is going to fall before 90. You know, we can assume that, I say assume, we can guesstimate that 45 will be about right here. And so 30 is going to be right here. So <clears throat> somewhere between here and here is going to be our 30 degree point. And that's what we want to calculate voltage for. Your equation is this. Your instantaneous voltage represented by Y is going to equal voltage peak or peak voltage, which is 5 volts, multiplied by the sine of theta. So when you have the sine of theta, basically what you're going to end up with is a ratio. <clears throat> the reason why this works gets back to trigonometry, because we have a full 360 degree rotation spread out over time here in the waveform, uh, it's actually synonymous akin to a circle. All right. The only difference between the circle and the sinusoidal waveform is that the circle is not relative to time, whereas the sin sinusoidal waveform is relative to time. As time goes on, voltage changes, and this stretches out the waveform. And at least that's how it's represented. So if you look at a circle uh, and you cut it up with the xy axis, uh, you can see that you can make 90 degree angles in order to calculate voltage anywhere around the circle. So basically what you have is instantaneous voltage is going to be equal to the peak voltage multiplied by the sine of the angle you want to solve. So if we have 5 volts for a peak and we're trying to find the sine of 30, so the sine of 30 is 0.5, and I'm going to multiply that by the peak value of 5, giving me 2.5 volts. So that'll tell me that at 30 degrees, I'm going to have an instantaneous voltage of 2.5 volts. Okay. So as you work more and more with this, you're going to find that you're just going to start to learn the halfway points, uh, you know, that the sine of 30 degrees is 0.5, which is going to cut your peak value in half. Um, and other degree markers. So you would think that 45 would be the halfway point being halfway between 90 degrees and zero, but in actuality the sine of 45 gives you 0 0.707, which is another magic number when dealing with RMS values, but that's a lesson for another day. So again, <clears throat> to recap, let me clear the screen. Your formula is for instantaneous voltage, which I'm going to call Y, it's going to equal the voltage peak times the sine of theta. All right. 
So that right there will give you instantaneous voltage. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'm going to try to put together some ACDC uh, different concepts, just tackle them one formula at a time. Uh, you know, that way you can hit the channel, check out exactly what you need, and then move on. Um, so look forward to that. Like, subscribe. There'll be more coming. So for those trying to work their way through engineering, um, hope this helps out. Talk to you later.